What's going on everybody? Today we are going to talk about the top 10 reasons why people are moving to Denver. Thousands of people are moving to Denver every single year. So today we're gonna to dig into maybe the top 10 reasons why that's happening and what's really drawing people to the state. Hey, and if this is your first time to the channel, then if you are interested in learning a little bit more about Denver, just kind of the park conditions, anything you know relevant to the state, Denver, surrounding areas, anything like that, make sure and hit the subscribe button down below. Tap the bell icon for notifications. This way you can be the first to know about any new videos that I put out. And if you don't already know, my name is Michael. I get people like you reaching out all the time, just trying to make a move to Denver, getting a little help with their transition. So if you are interested in getting a little help, whether you're moving next week, a month, a year, whatever it ends up being, my contact information is below. Shoot me an email, text, give me a call, whatever works best for you. I'm here to help make whatever transition as smooth as possible. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So we're gonna dig into the top 10 reasons I really think people are really being drawn to Colorado. Now this is just from what I see people really attaching to when they get here and things that they really enjoy and what really brings people in. So uh, let's get started off. All right, the first thing that I think is pretty obvious is the mountains that we have here. The scenic beauty that you just don't get anywhere else. It's no surprise that if you're driving through, you're flying in, whatever, however you're getting to Colorado, uh, you're gonna notice the mountains. Now the Rocky Mountains goes pretty much up and down. Colorado is, you know, Colorado Springs, Denver, Fort Collins. You're gonna see mountains pretty much all the way down. And that's just a very attractive thing because you don't really see a whole lot of that in most other places. Not only that, we have some really high mountains, which with a little bit of snow on top just makes it just a little extra beautiful. So, you know, people are moving here, they, they see that, they come here and they slowly get hooked. It's nice to see as you're driving to work, you're commuting, makes that morning commute a little bit more tolerable and not as stressful and sometimes you can just kind of look at it and you know feel a little bit at peace the other thing is the mountains are right there so some people that are just kind of coming through usually fall in love with the mountains and you know they're showing pictures at home and it's just one of those things that uh people are really attracted to the mountains also open up opportunities for other activities such as skiing hiking biking all that stuff that you might not be able to do where you're from so a lot of people get attracted to the idea that oh hey you know if i live here i can go ski every single weekend now whether they end up doing that is another story but the idea that they can just do that they don't have to travel and spend a bunch of money on plane tickets renting a car getting an airbnb all that stuff just to go skiing for a day or two is a little bit attractive especially if it's something that they're somewhat passionate about and they've really found a love for all right on to reason number two uh, the second thing that's really bringing a lot of people to Denver is the job opportunities here. We have a lot of tech jobs, finance jobs, aerospace jobs, just a lot of the tech industry type jobs are, you know, becoming more and more available here. And the majority of people that are moving to Colorado are coming for a job. So it's nice to know that there's plenty of opportunity here. There's also, you know, lower level entry jobs for someone who's kind of just starting out. If they're just getting out of college, a lot of people are, you know, coming in and just you know figuring out where to go once they get here uh, but finding something in the meantime there's a lot of entry-level jobs so you have plenty of opportunity and choice to kind of get something while you get here and then figure out where you're gonna go from there let out that last point uh, just to get to number three real quick it's a growing tech hub it's becoming the most popular tech hub here in the United States the fastest growing at least and people are just really interested in coming here. there's a lot of tech startups so a lot of jobs are you know looking for people so people elsewhere that are you know maybe not happy where they're at are looking at denver saying hey maybe there's where my next step is so a lot of tech industry jobs are kind of coming here and it's one of the reasons why denver is growing as fast as it is specifically in the tech industry and going right into number four is and this might be a little controversial but it's relatively affordable when you compare it to other tech hubs. Now, some people might be like, what do you mean affordable? Denver's so expensive. But if you look at some of the other tech hubs in the United States, such as San Francisco, where the median single family home goes for over one, $1.25 million, Denver's median home price of 640,000, all of a sudden seems a little bit more digestible. Now, the other nice thing about Denver is 640 is a little bit out of your budget. You can drive like 20, 25 minutes and you know, home prices go down 25, 30%. You could save a lot of money and you just really have a short commute. Whereas if you did something like that in San Francisco, you might have to drive maybe 
45 to an hour to get something even remotely less than the average over there. And even then, you're still probably not gonna get anywhere near Denver. Another tech hub across the United States is Seattle. That's very popular. Median single family home over there is gonna run you 835,000 roughly. So compare that to Denver's 640,000. Again, huge difference and you'd be saving a lot of money. So for tech hubs, they're looking at Denver saying, hey, it's really affordable. And I know affordable, but compared to some of the other places that they might wanna go to, Denver is not a bad option. All right, point number five is the weather here. It is a beautiful state. There's no argument about that. Some people think, you know, we get a lot of snow. It's terrible. The roads are awful in the winter. Not necessarily the case. We get about 300 plus days a year of sunshine. So throughout the year, we have really nice weather. And even when it does snow in the winter, usually it doesn't stick around too long. Now, if you're in one of the side streets that doesn't get plowed very often, that might stick around a little bit more. But for the most part, the sun comes out quickly and melts it away. I tell you, one of the best feelings is when there's snow on the ground, but the sun comes out in the afternoon and it's like 50 degrees outside, 50, 55, and you can go outside in a t-shirt and it just feels amazing. And just, you know, the nice crisp air is just, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful time of year to be out in the sun at. So, and not only do we get a lot of sun, but it's also a very dry climate. Now, you might not necessarily know what that means, but it's not very humid. So your hot days aren't gonna be like sticky. It's not gonna be uncomfortable. It's gonna be very nice heat. It's a very dry heat. So 85 degrees is like perfect. And once it gets a little bit hotter, it doesn't feel too uncomfortable. And then same when it gets cold, the cold isn't as bitter because there's not a whole lot of humidity in the air. So I, I've been in places that it's humid and you know, it gets down to 10, 15 degrees and that cold just like bites your face and it hurts. That doesn't actually happen here. Now, it does get pretty cold here and depending on where you're at, it might get a little bit colder. But for the most part, it's a very, you know, you throw on a coat, get some gloves and a hat and you're fine. You don't need anything too much. You can still go outside and enjoy the weather. Now, with it being very dry, one thing you are gonna wanna get is chapstick because your lips are gonna dry out really fast and you're gonna wanna put one in your car, one in your uh, pocket, one at work. You're gonna want some chapstick everywhere you go. It's not a bad investment when you get here. Otherwise, you might be dealing with some chapped lips for a little while. All right, number six is the sports scene. So if you're not already aware, Denver has four of the major sports. We have hockey, football, baseball, and basketball. So we have stuff going on year round here and People in Denver love their sports. There's games going on at bars all the time. You're gonna always have, you're gonna always run to these fans. It's not a bad thing. They're very welcoming, I feel like, of outside fans. So maybe you're not necessarily a Denver Broncos fan. You don't necessarily have to worry about going to a sports bar and people giving you a hard time. But I'd say, you know, year round, it's, it's kind of crazy. One thing you're gonna eventually figure out is the traffic around games. So if a Broncos game is happening, you really wanna avoid I-25 pretty much three hours before the game, three hours after the game, because that whole area is gonna be a traffic jam. And it's gonna be extra busy for that day. So you know, when you get here, you'll, you'll understand that you need to plan a little bit of your travel plans around those schedules, just because you have to plan for that extra time because a lot of people are going to the game, a lot of people are going out to the bar, lots of stuff going on. A lot of people are you know drinking and unfortunately some people make bad decisions. So there's gonna be some people out there probably not doing the right thing in their car. So you, it's another reason why to avoid going out when there's like a big game going on. Uh, but for the most part, you know, having all four sports here, being able to go to games is very nice because there's so many games, I think ticket prices are a little bit cheaper because it's not, oh, there's only one sport to go to all year. So not everyone's rushing. People can kind of go to their own sport and enjoy it and kind of keeps ticket prices down. All right, let's get into number seven, which is active lifestyle. A lot of people come here and they're really attracted by all the activities that we have here. The thing is a lot of the activities that we have here involve exercise and it's part of it. So if you wanna do something, you're gonna be forced to exercise. There's really no way to around it. And a lot of the things that we have here are very fun. So people get really into these activities and they go a little bit hardcore and all of a sudden they're in great shape and you know they love it. It's a compounding effect. You get in better shape, you can do the activity more keep doing it and it keeps going. So I think that's one reason why people love it here is the opportunity to do all these activities and just have a very active lifestyle. 
And the other thing is if you aren't very active, when you get here, you'll probably be peer pressured into some sort of activity that you'll end up loving and you won't even notice it, but you'll just be in better shape because of things that you do day to day here. And because Denver is so into their active lifestyle, you're going to find gyms, yoga studios, fruit bowl, restaurants all over the place. Like any sort of wellness store you can think of, you're going to find here because it, there's so much demand for it. So you're not gonna have to go far for a gym or yoga studio, whatever you're looking for. They're everywhere. So it's just one of the benefits of living in a state that is very active. All right, that brings us into number eight, which is my personal favorite. And I actually don't know if this actually brings people to Colorado, but I think it's just one of those extra little boxes that people check off. They're like, oh, you know, that's pretty cool. And that's the fact that we are very dog friendly here. Dogs man, best friend. And you know, we take that pretty seriously. There's dog parks everywhere and you know, any, any sort of activity you can think of doing with a dog, you're not gonna have to go far for it. People in Denver love their dogs, so they're, they're gonna wanna take them pretty much everywhere they go. There's off-leash dog parks all over the place. If you're looking for one, I recommend Cherry Creek Off-Leash Dog Park. It's my personal favorite. They have like a nice little river and it's, it's always packed and people are really good about keeping their dogs together. But for the most part, I mean, all throughout Denver, you're gonna find great off-leash dog parks and the majority of dog owners here are very responsible. So people usually pick up after their pet. They're usually leashed when they need to be leashed. Although if you come here and you are not a very responsible dog owner, you're probably gonna hear it. You know, people just, they like people taking responsibility. So I'd recommend, you know, you come here, follow the rules, you'll be all right. They'll welcome you with open arms. You can even find some outdoor bar areas that allow dogs where if you, you know, wanna get together for a doggy play date and meet a friend for a beer, you can do that. And I don't know if that's uh, popular elsewhere, but there's definitely a few here in Denver. So go check those out as well. All right, second to last item on the list is marijuana. Now I'm sure you may have thought this might be a reason, and I'm sure people are attracted to the idea that, you know, it's completely legal here. We were really first put on the map when Colorado was the first state to legalize recreational marijuana. But I'm not sure how, you know, it, it's a little bit more popular around the states now, so I still don't know if Colorado is, that's one of the things that bring people to Colorado. I think it's just one of the perks that some people enjoy while they're here. Now, I'd say if you aren't necessarily a fan of marijuana or partaking it, it's not something that you are gonna walk down the street and seeing a bunch of people partake in. You're not gonna smell it all the time. Now, you will see it occasionally. It's kind of like drinking alcohol. You're gonna see people do it where they're not supposed to, but for the most part, people usually do it in the comfort of their homes or at parties, stuff like that. So you're not gonna really have to worry about it if you're not. I'd say the only thing that you're probably really gonna notice is a lot of green plus signs around. And that's just, uh, just how it is. And reason number 10, the last reason, last but not least, there is so many things to do in Denver that you're not gonna have time to do it all. You're gonna wanna do everything, but you're just not gonna have time for it. We have Red Rocks if you like concerts. We have theme parks, we have Waterworld, E-Liches, if you kind of like that outdoor entertainment. We have the mountains and all those outdoor activities. So, you know, you can keep yourself busy with that. There's a lot of breweries. Breweries are very popular here. You could find endless craft beer. So as much as your heart desires, we also have a bunch of restaurants. The restaurants here are amazing. We're a very diverse city. And one benefit to that is a lot of people open up restaurants from where they're from and we get to enjoy it. So if you're looking for, if you're a foodie or you like to eat all sorts of kinds of food, Denver is gonna have exactly what you're looking for. But for the most part, I'd say that's why people are moving to Denver and the reason why they quickly fall in love with the area. There's just so much to offer that I can't imagine you'd find that elsewhere that you know doesn't have a few other things. And you know, Denver just has everything combined. There's not much we don't have here. But I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you got a little insight as to living in Denver and some of the benefits and perks of living here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget if you're moving here and you'd like a little bit of help making that transition a little smooth, don't hesitate to reach out. More than happy to help, whether it's next week, next month, next year, whatever. My information's below. Reach out whenever you want. Or if you just need a recommendation on some Mexican food, whatever you need, some activities to do out here, hit me up. More than happy to help.